Welcome to Black Sheep Farm. My name is Susan. I'm staying here at Black Sheep Farm, my friend Susanna's farm in County Kilkenny. I'm here to help her with the lambing. So this is just a little introduction. I haven't been doing a great job of filming, but I'm piecing together a few sets of videos. This is the first set, sort of starting on the 29th of March. Hope you enjoy. Okay, let's go see the new mummy and the new lamb. There's the baby. It's sleeping. This is the mummy. She's uh, a first time mummy. She doesn't really know me. Um, but she will get used to me because obviously I will be checking on her and all the rest of the pregnant youth throughout the night, starting tonight. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you? You're, so there's three of the youths in here keeping the new mommy company. You want to have a scratch? Yeah. Are you going to have a nice baby this year? Maybe two? Today is the 31st. It's Easter for those of you that celebrate Easter. Uh, happy Easter. Um, so last night was my first night on the lambing shift. This year, the names are all to start with the letter M. The breed registry, there's a, a letter for each year. And last year, of course, was L. If any of you watched uh, last year, you probably have seen that. And so that's two mummies have given birth. So there are about 20 some more to go. I think I forgot the exact number. Maybe it's about 25. I will be here to the 17th and then I'm going to go back home to County Clare and Susanna's other friend is coming to finish off. On the lambing front, um, we have had one live lamb, the very first one. They, they came a bit early, so lamb number one was early. She was small and you can see more about that on Susanna's channel. She couldn't stand for a while. Um, for a couple days but she's standing now and she's walking a bit she's still needing help being fed um but so far so good so we're we're hopeful with that but you never know and then on um, <laughs> on my night shift not last night there was no action last night on my night shift the night before last there were very early too way too early uh born uh, twins. One was like so tiny. It was probably about like that. And the other one was a bit bigger and it it lived a little while but it just couldn't really breathe properly so that was sad. But now is um, the time from now onwards pretty much that the ladies that first got covered with the ram, if they give birth now they will have full-term lambs. The second set of ladies were just, a, I think, a, a few days behind that. So, um, yeah, so hopefully most all the lambs will just be born full-term now. And uh, that's what we hope for. So, yeah, I hear the quad coming back around, so I will uh, sign off now for the minute. Here's Mammy. And baby, baby, hi. There she is. Oh, she's standing. Oh, mommy. She's walking. This is great. Look at that. Look at the sheen. If this is the same one that we always see out front, he has a harem, a harem, however one says this, of a five or six hen pheasants. So he is very proud of himself. Look, look who I have with me. It's little Java. It's little Java. Yes, he is. He's even smaller than Inca. He is, and of course, Oven Mitt is here as well. Morning. Well, no, it's it's actually noon. It's no, it's actually one. This is the shelter spot. Um, 
It's not too, too bad at the minute. Been windy, very windy. But luckily it's very mild. It's like probably nearly 15 degrees Celsius. So that's probably about 60 uh, Fahrenheit. So it's really warm. So the wind isn't feeling super cold and it's raining on and off. So yeah, uh, we lost power for a little bit, but it's back on now. So, we'll, um, but then another storm is coming Monday with apparently a whole lot of rain as well as wind. So, shall we see? Daytime of Stork, Storm Kathleen. Nothing was born during the storm last night, but since about half five, six, we've had three sets of twins. Just the others just been born. They're going straight out to the paddock. So there's babies in here. That's the, I think, the premature one back there still. The one that was premature, the first one born. But the other pair has just gone straight out to the paddock because it's very mild and it is not raining. It's just very windy. The midnight lamb check. And the horses are uh, giving each other a, a very good scratch. Ishka and Grasshopper, mother and daughter. Now, one of the ladies has had a, a lamb, which is alive. Uh, she was showing signs that she might lamb, so Susanna had put her in a pen on her own. So, uh, But the ladies are all um, uh, very used to me now. Even the ones that don't really know me, so they don't all kind of move away when I first come up. So, yeah. So you can see she's there in the pen. So here's the lamb. She's up and standing and walking. She was went over to Mammy's teat, but then she got waylaid. But yeah, so she's looking. Or he, well, I don't know what he what it, the the lamb is yet, but looking good. So that's that's a good thing. Here every night when I come out, there's time. That's his post. He has uh, decided he's going to keep an eye on the lambing shed. That's his spot. The baby's down the other end where we can't see her, but she's walking around no problem. Oh, there she is having a little rest now because she did a lot of walking around, so she's probably tired. And Susanna has brought uh, water and food for Mammy. Look. 4 a.m. Two healthy twins. Mommy's taking good care of them. Nice full size lambs. Hooray! I didn't have to do anything when I came out. They were just present and correct. Both of them standing up, moving around. So, Mommy's got them all clean. It's great. Nice little blaze on that one. Doesn't have any front socks, I think. Just back socks. Now out for the midnight lambing check. The storm, it's actually going to be a lot worse than this, but that's, that's some rain. Yeah, yuck. There's time. Kiki! He's always there and there's, he's lying down in a very strange position, but he was looking at me a minute ago. Ladies. Hi, hey, ladies. Hey, girls. I'll go down here now and check. Horses are in as well. Yep. Nothing looks to be happening. So I was going to go up to the, um, you know, they're in the garden field, the orchard, the little mini orchard field. I was going to take you up there and show you the new twins and all the other ewes and lambs that are up there, but it's starting to rain <laughs> uh, again, and I just don't <laughs> want to go out there because it's super, super windy. Actually, I'm not even sure if you can hear me over this. Oh, this is a video. Oh, anyways, there's a video. So there's the lake, and there's the um, start of the concrete. And there's Java. Come on in.
Yos, and this lady here has had twins. So there she is with her twins. One looks to be quite big and the other's a bit smaller, but I mean, I don't think, not like too small or anything. It's just one might be like maybe a big ram lamb. One lady here, she's just taking it easy. I don't think she's in the throes of lambing, but she's just waiting to see is there going to be food or not. Is it actually going to happen? Here we go. She's as big as a house gobbler. She's a little bit sore foot because we have had nothing but rainstorms happening. So, but she's not too bad. If she gets bad, she'll get a treatment. There's the two babies. Just been born now this evening. You can hear the birds all singing there. Nighttime going to bed song. Hey, Mama. And Suzanne is here to bring them down to the stall. And I have a bit of an issue. Oh, I think I'm going to have to be holding that fella. Well, I might be able to carry the lambs in one hand and this in the other. Well, we'll see. Good. I can always carry them if you want. It's probably easier, unless you want me to try to I film you do doing this feat. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> I might have to hold the little Java. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Woo! Oh, yeah. Lambs and a dog. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's years of practice. <laughs> She's going in her stall there. Ooh, look out there, Susan. I didn't. I was trying to not fall over in the mud. <laughs> Go get a little do iodine. Okay. Yeah, there's the other mammy in there. And then here's the new mammy. The mammy. Yeah. Suzanne has gone to get the iodine to uh, for the umbilical cords. And then mommy will get some sheep nuts and some water. Yeah. <laughs> iodine. Nope, you guys stay out. You stay out. <laughs> I know. You good girl. This is not your first rodeo. You've been here before. Good soaking. Okay, that's a little male rat, lamb. Ooh, you are a stonker. Yeah, that's the big one. Is it a boy or Another a girl? Another boy. I was so thinking these are two yeah, boys. Two boys. Big. One big one and little one. Minnie and Maxie. Except Minnie those and Maxie. sound like girls' names. Except they, they do sound like <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's pawing for them to stand up. Is that right? You, exactly. She wants She's them to stand up. She's basically telling them to get stand up, up and uh, have some milk. And have some milk. So she's got fresh hay. Fresh water there. Java, get out. <laughs> what are you doing in here? You're she's going to come get you. Look, Look, she sees you. She's giving you the stink eye. She's definitely giving you the stink eye. You've got to get out. Get out. Get out. There, good boy. Yeah, good dogs. Uh, I'm going to give her some nuts. Some nuts. Sheep nuts. This is the only thing that she hasn't had so far. Yeah. And there's Brendel being very good, staying back. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> Look at the leaping lights. Oh, somebody left their baby over by the wall in the excitement. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh. Get your baby. There's a little baby over there by the... Here comes the baby. <laughs> hey, little babies! You're headed the wrong way there. Is that your baby over there? You better go get your baby. They're checking to see which one's mine. Your mammy is probably literally right over there. She's like, this will do. Susanna will be next in line. Oh, baby! Yeah. That's the sibling of this one. Find the correct mammy. That's probably her. There we go.